Welcome to the Rhoda Wilson Show, keeping you informed, entertained and educated. My name is Rhoda Wilson. I'm truly excited about this new series because we've got wonderful individuals across the communities talking to us about sports, health, wealth, the environment and of course we're going to be talking about business later with two lovely guests they are having a couch. So let me introduce you to them. Paulette West, MBE, is an ambassador for Building United Communities, an organization within the black community which access community leaders, champions, role models to provide and deliver inspirational and motivational events, seminar, workshop, and conferences of excellences. She is joined by the very founder of BUC here, Andrew Green. So come with me and let's talk to them. Welcome to the Wilson Show. Hi, good to be here. I'm really delighted that you're here. So are we. Well, thanks for having us here. <laughs> yeah. Andrew, this is exciting, building united communities, because you're the founder. What inspired you? I, I must say, um, it's something that I've been involved in for much of my working life, working with the black community yeah. in one way or another. Okay. Um, and when the opportunity came up for us to put together an organisation that delivered events, yes. um, informative events, motivational and inspirational events yes. to the community. My expertise in, is in creating and developing businesses. Okay. So this was an opportunity for me to put in the infrastructure behind this organisation. Um, and so we've been able to do that. We've got a social networking site wow. um, for Building United Communities, yeah. which is at um, wetheunited.com. Our membership has now grown so that it's worldwide. Yeah. But what's more important is what we're actually doing on the ground here in the UK. Okay. And through that, we've been able to put on numerous events. Um, Before we talk about what you're doing currently, I mean, how long has the organisation been going? Well, the concept was originated about a year ago. Okay. But the formal structure, the company that's limited by guarantee, yeah. was incorporated in about June of last year. Oh, brilliant. And how's, obviously, you're talking about how successful it's been as well, and you're roping Paulette as well to, to help you to build this. Is this correct, or how do you work together? To so be quite honest, there could be no better person to represent oh, Building United Communities as an ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you take a look at a track record and yeah. see the things that she's yeah. accomplished, yeah. you'll find that there's... There is no better person that could hold a position as ambassador, yeah. and because of her involvement, the business, uh, the organisation has been able to grow from strength to strength. And you were talking about some of the things you were doing here in London or in England. What kind of uh, uh, motivational seminars or workshop have you have you? Oh, well, um, during Enterprise Week of last year, November, we were able to put on a Black Boys in Business event. It attracted people from us from outside London, um, yeah. it was inundated, we had to turn people away. Just to add that, um, that was for um, Enterprise Week yeah. and we managed to get um, 12 positive black male role models uh, wow. for black boys in business and they all volunteered, um, they didn't get paid, mm -hmm. it was free of charge, they wanted to be part of mm -hmm. what we're doing mm -hmm. um, and what BUC um, does, Building United Communities, is basically to give a platform for positive role models, community champions and business leaders mm -hmm. to showcase the talents and expertise that we have in the community. But this is very good because what yeah. you're doing is absolutely wonderful and I think you should commend yourself because some of the problems we have, or well not problems, I don't think they're problems, I think the media or certain quarters of the media don't tend to raise the profile of black role models. As a result of that, when you read the news, you always get the negative image as opposed to the positive image. And this is what you're doing in effect really, isn't it? Absolutely. And Black Boys in Business was quite a bold statement. I know. And we wanted to make it um, bold yeah. because for exactly the same reasons as, you, as you've just said. Um, it was in direct um, reaction mm -hmm. um, to all the negative stereotypes that we're getting out there and all, all the media, negative med media attention that, we're act that they're actually putting out there. So Black Boys in Business was really about showcasing all the positive male role models. And there will be sequels coming up as we're going along as well. Because you've had one, now you're going to look to have more because it's such a success and Absolutely. people are actually the queue out there of people wanting to, to attend your, your, your seminar. Absolutely. In fact, w we've got a follow-up to that. It's called Black Girls in Business. Wow. Taking place on the 9th of March oh, at yeah. the Vernon Grants Art Centre. Oh, yes. wow. It's going to be well represented. Um, we've got people that come from the public sector. Mm -hmm. Government's going to be have a presence there. Yes. The media's going to be there. Wow. In fact, we've been inundated with um, people that want to come along and register for the event prior to it happening. It's, it's already a sellout event, even mm -hmm. though it's free. Wow. 
But I'm really surprised it is taking us this long to get here. Why do you think that it's taking us this long? Have we just woken up one day and said we've had enough with this negative image? I'm sure Paulette would agree with me. There are an awful lot of people out there that are doing worthwhile things for the community. Yeah. We, we know that, we recognise that. We come across these people all the time. Yeah. But there's never been a platform for them to be recognised for what it is that they do. Um, for some reason, everybody operates in little pockets mm -hmm. without coming together. Mm -hmm. And when they, and I suppose because there isn't a structure under which people can come together yeah. and, and showcase what they're doing mm. and create a lot of public awareness, mm. um, all we've done is, is taken things one step further mm. and created a, a platform for people to be able to do this. I think as well, with most events, um, and when you're looking at aspirational, inspirational or motivational events, you may have three, four um, speakers at the most. Yeah. And I don't think that I've ever seen an event where you've had 12 positive black male role models. Wow. And by the same token with the black girls in business, we've got 12 speakers um, representing a, a diverse section of the black community. So we have um, speakers at grassroots level yeah. and we have people that are very, very educated going to university. Mm -hmm. So the range of the role models that we have uh, completely at different ends of the scale. So the audience sitting in would really be able to um, re relate mm -hmm. um, to at least a handful of them. So oh. I think that that's what sets us apart. We are an inspirational movement. Oh, that's great. Whilst you were talking, Paulette, I was thinking to myself, what, how does the structure go? I mean, are there particular topics that each speaker cover or do they just talk about their own general experience? They generally talk about their journey. Okay. They talk about their journey, the mm -hmm. obstacles, the mm -hmm. achievements, yeah. uh, the challenges and the successes that they've had. Um, and I think what happens with the black boys in business that was really different was they opened up the vulnerable side of them yeah. and to hear us 12 um, speakers, mm. men predominantly, opening up and sharing that vulnerability mm. really, really engaged the audience. I mean, there was people there that I looked around and some of the women, there were tears in their eyes because the stories that they, they shared mm. was quite deep. And we thought, wow, because normally when you have events, um, it's all about business. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just about business, it was more of a, from a spiritual um, point of view. That's well. great. And Andrew, with this event that you organise, I know you, you get the speakers that talk about you know, ways for the, the young black boys and the young black girls, for, obviously with the next event, to, I suppose, to appreciate themselves and to understand that you know, there's other things beyond that. What step do you take to go beyond that? Because you've shown them what to do. It's like giving them a key. Mm. So this is the key to your future. But what is the follow-up after that? Well, what we find is that um, we try to build um, the business platform uh, um, so that entrepreneurs okay. that, that have got good ideas and that mm -hmm. people that are already in business can um, maintain their business, grow their business and develop it. Mm -hmm. So what we tend to do, we've got a database okay. um, through another um, organisation that we've got, another business that we've got. Okay. And that database has got something like about 15,000 businesses that wow, are members. Wow, that is a lot of numbers. Okay. Well, well I'm going to come. I'm going to check, definitely check your database out. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's free for any business to yeah. sign up to. Yeah. But yeah. what it means is that we're able to put people in touch with each other. Yes. And we're able to put on events that are um, where there's a business focus. Mm -hmm. And in that way, entrepreneurs or people that are in business can come along, yeah. share their business, the products and services that they've got mm -hmm. um, with others. And in that way, we help people that are in business to stay in business and to grow their business. Um, is that the same website as the Building United uh, Communities? Or? No, that, no that we've got another. Or another that's one. a site called Up for Biz. Up for Biz. That is biz. Uh, dot com. Yeah. Dot com. And it's free. Absolutely. And you can you can tap into a vast majority of yes. people that is out there to help. Because one of the struggles you have as a small business is you can't find anyone that will help you. So you're saying that listen, you don't have to be on your own. You've got fifteen thousand people on this database? Yeah. Absolutely, and um, another thing that B Building United Community is doing, talking about events, we're going to be holding a monthly themed business networking social events as okay. well, where we will tap into the likes of Up for Biz, the businesses that are on the database, where we're gonna give them a platform to come together. Mm -hmm. um, that's gonna be held at the African Caribbean Leadership Council yeah. in Hornsey. Um, and it's going to be themed. So every month there will be a theme. So for example, our first one um, is going to be around leadership. 
and we will tap into some of the uh, business leadership leaders that we have got out there in the community, the likes of Alexander Amosu, Tim mm -hmm. Campbell, okay. Levi Root. So yeah. um, people will want to come and hear what they've got to say simply because they're leading the way and they're pioneers and trailblazers in their respective fields. Okay. It's events like this where businesses can come along, mm. they can have their stalls, they can profile themselves. Yeah. And that way we're supporting businesses. Um, is it like something like, I don't know if I can say it's a dragon den for, you know, like people could come in and have five, ten minutes and they can talk about their businesses. Is Absolutely. that what it is? But there'll be different themes. There'll be different, different themes, themes yeah. yeah. But you have, they would have the opportunity, which I'm trying to get at, is to present their business idea to people or to... What, what, to what, what, if you could imagine a mini Olympia where there's stalls, mm. where people have got their stalls and, and so they're able to show their merchandise or mm. the service that they offer. Yeah. But more so, people that come through the door c come with their business cards okay. and with their business ideas and they can talk to other people and share what they've got. Andrew, can I just hold you there because we're going to take a break, yeah? So we're going to take a break, so please do not go away. Mm -hmm.